A very happy and cheerful morning to all my dear students. I hope you all are fine at home and taking care of your health. So, we are back with our social studies class. And as you remember, we were studying chapter number 16, Let's Keep in Touch. So, this is a new chapter that we had started. Now, in the last class, we were studying about the various means of personal communication. Right? So, in that, the last topic which we had discussed was telephone. Okay? So, now let's move on to the next topic that is fax machine. See what happens from the fax machine? We send the Rented, written or printed matter and it is connected to a telephone line. Okay, so now I am going to show you the video so it will be more clear to all of you. Okay, let's see. Fax machine. Written or printed matter is sent through a telefax machine which is connected to a telephone line. The copy of a written or printed document reaches the receiver at once. It is also called a fax machine. Yes, okay. So see, this is how a fax machine looks like. So what happens? That it is connected to a telephone line and the copy of the written document, it reaches the receiver at once. Okay, directly it reaches the receiver. Okay, now the next topic is email. Now see, email is a very popular topic or I would say the very popular means right now. Okay, so what we do in email? It is the most popular way to send a message through electronic mail or email. What do we call it? Electronic mail or email. And it is a relatively new system of sending and receiving messages with the help of computer and internet. Okay, see nowadays we can even send mail through our cellular phones, that is our mobile phones. So basically what we need, we need a strong, a good internet connection. Through that we can send email. Okay, the message reaches anywhere in the world. It reaches anywhere and it is a very cheap way of sending messages. Okay, let's watch the video. Email. The most popular way to send a message is through electronic mail or email. It is a relatively new system of sending and receiving messages with the help of computer and internet connection. The message reaches anywhere in the world. This method is cheaper and can be used for all purposes, official and personal. Mass communication. Now the next topic is mass communication see first we discussed about personal communication right now if you want to send a message to more than one or two people that is mass mass means a crowd so that time it is known as mass communication so let's read it see over here what is the meaning of mass mass means a crowd or a large number of people okay therefore mass communication means communicating with the masses or a large number of people who live all over the world who live all over the world books magazines newspaper radio cinema television advertisement internet and satellite all these are what? Please underline. These are the other forms of mass communication. Okay. These are the forms of mass communications that are widely used. Now see, generally, when do we use mass communication? When we want to do certain advertisement. Okay. See, for example, if I have started a new cafe or a shop or some business. So I want more and more people should know about it. Right, and I don't know all these people, they might be unknown. So what I do, I will do the mass communication. I can do the promotion, advertisement through newspaper, TV, radio, magazines, cinema also. 
okay so these are all the different forms of mass communication now the first one is newspaper and magazines see what they said newspapers and the magazines are powerful means of mass communication why it is a powerful mean because maximum people they read newspapers right newspapers are distributed every day regularly that means every day the newspapers come okay and many people look so it is a very powerful mean of mass communication they are available at our doorstep in market just everywhere okay everywhere we get the newspapers they give us information about the national and international events and of the developments around the world see i'm sure you also might have seen a newspaper right so you have information about our country about our town also about our area and the international news as well that is what is happening around the world so they also carry weather reports so how's the weather weather forecast will it rain or not advertisements puzzles articles and information related to local events all this is there then eh? earlier newspapers were the only means of mass communication so in earlier times it was the only means okay there was no internet no social media through which we can send messages or we can see what is happening around the world it was only newspapers and people relied on them for all kinds of information so naturally if there is only one mean that is newspaper then everyone will rely on it okay see even the international matches that is cricket match if it is going on in india indian team has gone to some other country or something like that so the people how will they know it was based on the newspapers and the magazines okay now moving on see what you have to do there is one short question that you have to do find out about the first major newspaper that started in india okay you have to find out about it now the next topic is see do you know how news reach us how it reaches us see first of all what happens the news is collected by the reporters and the news agency now we all know there are different news channels okay so what they do first of all they collect the information about it that what is happening all around and is the information important or not so this goes to the editors who decides how much of each news has to be printed on which page and what the heading should be see now what happened the reporter has collected all the information okay this is important we should include it in our newspaper then the role of editor comes see we cannot print all the information okay there are short short, short articles in the newspapers because they have to cover many topics so they keep short short articles Now the editor, what he does, he or she decides how much of the news has to be printed, on which page, on which page there should be sports news, on which page there should be the local news, all the different categories, and what the heading should be. Heading should be very attractive. It should be catchy, so that the people are curious to know what is happening. So all this who decides? It is the editor who decides. then the news is sent for printing okay finally it's sent for printing then the paper is then bought out okay it is brought out okay is it clear four steps first news is collected then the role of the editor then it is sent for printing and finally it is brought out okay now the next topic is radio what is it radio an italian scientist please underline guglielmo marconi invented the radio in the year 1886 radio stations at different places in a country 
reach out to the common man. Okay, in different places, it reaches to the common man. Who are the common man? We. We all are the common people. Okay. The radio gives programs on national and international news, movies, music, drama, and even educative programs. So all this the radio provides. Okay, there is news, movies, which movies are trending, which movies are successful right now, the latest songs, drama, and even educative programs. Nowadays, like television, even the radios have many channels to entertain us. Okay, even radios has different channels. Even if you talk about music, in music also there are different channels. Somewhere there's soft music going on. Somewhere there are party songs. Okay, so this way they have even divided the channels. Radio reaches where television cannot. Radio reaches where even the television cannot reach. In a village, there are more radios and transistors as compared to television sets. Naturally, because it is comparatively expensive to buy a television set, right? So, the people in the village areas, they prefer purchasing radios. A radio helps us to pass time during traffic jams, on our way to the workplace or back home. Okay, so when we are going, we are traveling. Okay, we can hear the different news, all what is going on, jokes also. Okay, all this, it is very entertaining for us. The programs keep us entertained and happy. Okay, so this is radio. I think we'll keep it till here. Yes? Okay, so we'll keep it till here. And in the next class, we will continue with the remaining topic. So till that... God bless you all. Goodbye.